What is a woman? This summer, the government launched a consultation on whether to make it easier for people to legally switch their gender, to self-identify. The Gender Recognition Act would be updated, ditching the medical procedures and assessments which are currently needed to get an official gender recognition certificate. Some feminists are opposed to this change. I'm not hostile to trans, I'm definitely hostile to the politics of trans, which seeks to silence women's voices. They are not women. That's led to conflict with sections of the trans community. This is well-known feminist Julie Bindle being blocked by trans activists as she tries to attend a meeting. Well, are you blocking us? Don't you dare. Are you not, don't you dare. The women against self-identification have been branded TERFs by their opponents. Trans, exclusionary, radical feminists. They've been called bigots and accused of hate speech. One such group is a woman's place. This group have never spoken to the media before. They've never let anyone attend any of their meetings. Um, we've come up to Liverpool because they've said they're going to let us attend. We're just waiting for an email to come through um, telling us where the location is actually going to be. Oh, well, that's it. That's the message that's just come in. Every day, we hear politicians who bang on about Brexit and having a people's vote. Well, how about a women's vote? How about a women's vote on whether we want men in our female spaces? We can see tonight's event is pretty well attended. There's well over 100 people in the room. We're filming the speakers, but we're not using our cameras on any of the audience. And that's because some of the women who are here say they fear repercussions. Women have been assaulted going to our meetings. So this isn't, you know, it's not just scaremongering. About a year ago, we uh, learnt about the attack on Maria uh, McLaughlin at Hyde Park. <laughs> Uh, which was, came after a group of women were trying to organise a meeting to discuss concerns about the GRA and we were horrified that women trying to meet to discuss that couldn't actually have a meeting so we thought we would set up an organisation that made sure they could talk about it. You will know that the trans community will say that actually what you're doing is peddling hate and that this is about people being transphobic and being allowed to express those views. Um, well, I think that's an irresponsible thing to say about women coming together about a law that um, affects them. It's not just the sort of big ticket items of uh, men, males going into women's prisons, but I think there are things like, you know, going into high street stores in the changing rooms, going to your sports centre in the changing rooms, how it's affecting children. And I think that those sorts of issues are frightening to women. What do you say to people who say that you're transphobic and simply you're on the wrong side of history? We're not transphobic. We're a group dedicated to making sure that women's rights are upheld. It really seems like common sense to us and we don't know why we're coming under such attack. Helen Watts was expelled from the Girl Guides three days before this meeting for breaching their social media policy. Uh, people who, who take a contrary position to me often say I'm scaremongering or I think that uh, trans people are sort of predators. I don't think that at all. This is about the fact that we have male children sharing very sort of intimate spaces with, with female children. It's not the fact that we... <laughs> that I think those children are going to do anything. It's about respecting all the children's uh, feelings. Women's Place says they are not transphobic and that a number of transsexuals regularly attend their meetings. One of them is Debbie Hayton, who's opposed to self-identification. Her opinions have enraged some fellow transsexuals. So the present law relies on a, a meaningful transition. Moving it to something just based upon an internal feeling of gender well, it's impossible to measure that. So we're, we're asking people to take us at, a, take us at our word. Uh, that, that's problematic for me as a transsexual person because it just raises the question, if people don't believe me, then it, make, it puts me in a very, very vulnerable position. There was no opposition on the night we attended, but across the country, wherever Women's Place have met, they've usually been picketed by trans activists. Two days after the meeting in Liverpool, the women had an event in Leeds cancelled. They're actually having a meeting in the House of Lords today, so we've come along to find out what happened. 
Well, we had booked a meeting in good faith. We'd been very open with the council. And then suddenly, uh, when the venue was announced to the attendees, they just shut the meeting down. I mean, there are probably members of the trans community who would say this was a victory because they stopped you having your meeting. Well, they didn't. They stopped they you didn't. discussing they it. They stopped us having a meeting in the Civic Hall, but a local pub very generously agreed to host us. And so we had a brilliant meeting. We, we will not be silenced. Regardless of what you think about the reform, it's actually about how we make sure that women's voices are heard uh, and ensuring that that happens. And, and politicians of all parties have really got to step up to the plate.